All right, guys, so he's bought this brand new Gravedigger RC car, and we're gonna see if it jumps over the water. And three, two, one, go. Oh, we made it. It didn't jump over it, but it definitely made it. Now let's see if it goes up, up it or not. Nope. No traction that way. Got sand all over me, that's for sure. All right, one more time. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I went right in the water. This thing is waterproof, just so you know. It, it floats. It's got a bunch of styrofoam where it floats in there. Okay, go. All right, guys, so today we just got a Gravedigger Trax RC car. So literally, that's what it's called, Gravedigger Trax right there. Um, it says it does wheelies, and it goes over, where is it telling me it goes over? So it'll go over right here. So it says that it goes over snow, dirt, rocks, and grass. It even says it drives on water. So we do have a pond where we're at, so we can take it to the pond um, whenever it is light outside, because right now it's dark. So let me go ahead and get it unboxed for you guys, and we can check it out. It looks pretty cool. Now this thing costs $50. Okay, let me, let me get it unboxed. So this thing costs $50 at Walmart. We just bought it right now. I haven't seen it at Walmart yet, or maybe I have, I just wasn't paying attention. So I don't know if it's brand new or if it's been out for a while. First time I've ever seen it. Of course, there's so many toys nowadays for, for kids out there that I don't see everything. Um, now this is not hobby grade, this is just some Walmart toy, but at the same time, I think we will have fun with it. It's a good toy for him to play around with, I know that. So it comes with a uh, kind of a cheapish style remote, remote control, just plastic. I don't know what these buttons are here yet. Um, so there's your remote control for it. Let me figure out how to unbox the rest of it here. I kind of want to be halfway good with it in case if it doesn't work and we could take it back. But sometimes we all know how that goes. What do we got going on here? Let's just cut straight down the line here. Push, 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 go, go. There we go. Oh, it does have its internal charging. It's got a USB charger on this inside there, which is good. So I think it, it takes AAA. I just saw that on the box right now. All right, almost done, guys. There we go. Get the box out of the way. We don't care about the box no more. Hold that down. Comes with these silly little clips. All right, there it is, right there. Is it cool? Oh, goodness. All right. So, we got... This is gonna... I don't know what... Okay. It's got some silly thing right here that you gotta pretty much break this thing to get it off. It just says if you get water in the body, this is your drain plug for it. Let's go ahead and cover that up now. All right, so here it is. That's quite big. It's, I don't know, 1 12th scale big maybe. You can see it compared to my bubs here. Where's that? There it is, I understand. So that's how big it is. It's about three of his heads big. Is it three heads of yours big? Yeah. Yeah? All right, so, um, so for it to go on water, you can see it's got foam inside here. It's all foam. 
right there. So let's get this thing charged and let's get it driving here. So I think three AAA batteries is what it said for it. Um, I know I saw some batteries somewhere on it here. Two AAA batteries. So the charger takes AAAs. Oh, it's one of these push ones. So you push down on this and it slides out. That's a, I like that a lot better than I, than I like uh, than I like the screws. Oh, that's easy. Sometimes the screws are annoying. Okay, so yeah, just two, can I see it? Yeah, two, two triple A's right there. And let's get this thing charging. Let's figure out where we gotta charge it at. Oh, that's what this port's for right here to charge it? Yeah, okay, so that's where we charge it right here. That's where this little flap is right here, we charge it. All right, so let's get charging it. Um, once it's fully charged, I'll tell you how long it takes to charge it. All right, guys, next thing you see, you'll see us driving it. All right, so you can see it charging right now. So the green light kind of pulses off and on. I don't know how well the camera catches that. And this is a Type-C, the Type-C plug right there. And it's just USB on that part, Type-C on this part. So once it's fully charged, I'll tell you how long it takes. Well, we got stuff cooking right now. I was going to tell you what the time was. But... Let's see, the time right now, there's Cat B doing his arm hanging off thing. So it's 7.45 right now. So I started charging at 7.45, and I'll let you know what time it is once it's fully charged. All right, so I just noticed it turn green right now. It's solid green, so that would mean to me that it's fully charged. And it is 7.58 now. So what, 45 to 58, what is that, 13 minutes? So I mean it was probably wasn't fully it probably wasn't fully dead because it became brand new. So this is how you turn it on. There's a little button right there. So I gotta pair it up to the remote right now. So let's go ahead and turn the remote on. You just hit the little button right there. And let's see. Oh, it works. Alright, I didn't want to fall off the thing there. Alright, so let me put my camera up on the stand again and let's get racing this thing, I guess. All right, guys, so I just moved my couch out of the way. I had to do a quick vacuum because you should have seen all the crumbs underneath, that, that, underneath the couch. And let's go. All right. I think it'll do better outside because it needs more of a grassy surface. <laughs> I don't know, it's a pretty cool little toy. It, it might do about five miles an hour. That's full speed. That's full speed right there, so. Okay, I gotta see what these things do. I'll, I'll get to you, I'll get to you. Bob's is wanting a remote right now. I have to see what these, so this control has got these two little buttons, listen. I'm not really sure what they do, I gotta read the instructions real quick. What they mean. All right, let's, get, let's let Bob's do it. I think this thing's worth, it's $50. I think it's worth $50. It seems to have some pretty good power, huh? Look at that, it has pretty good power to it. Hey, oh, it's not even on the video. Bubs is way over there in the corner. So right now, we got four of his die-cast cars set up, and he's got, we're gonna see if he can drive over them. It's got some pretty good power to it, I've noticed. Yeah, it'll drive right over that. I mean, even though this thing's not hobby grade, $50 is kind of expensive in my opinion for a toy, but this thing's pretty cool. I think we'll have some fun with it. Go backwards with it now. See if you can go backwards with it. Oh, goodness. 
<laughs> Did it do a flip? Yeah, they'll flip right over. So this toy did say ages four and up. It is pretty crazy. I gotta read the directions and see what those two little buttons mean. Maybe I won't find out what it means. We'll see. Oh my gosh. Oh, go get it. You tipped it over. Yeah, you did. It's got some pretty good power to it. Oh, he's actually knows how to stop it. I'm trying to see, show you guys how. Okay, go, go full blast. Yeah. Yeah, I'm putting down some pretty good power to, to make the motor stop on itself. All right, I'm gonna, all right guys, I'm gonna do this kind of fast because it took a lot of persuading to get this remote out of his hands. Let's see how good it goes over these cars. I'm trying to do it finessely. All right, there's not really no finesse. I just got, I just got to gun it and go. It's hard to. It doesn't have like. It doesn't have really precise steering. Watch out, bubs. You will try. It's hard to precision steer it. There it goes. Uh oh. You, you'll try it. I'll see if I could, if I could, uh. There goes, a little bit. Okay. All right, that's all. I'm gonna let him play with it now. He's just gonna be kind of all over the place with it. Um, yeah, so we'll show you guys what it's like in the daytime. For you guys, it's gonna be really quick. For us, we gotta wait 12 hours. All right, bye for now. Bye. All right, guys. So it's the next day. We're gonna see how this Grave Digger monster truck goes over the sand hill. We're gonna try driving it down in there, see how good it goes and climbs out. Bubs is at daycare, so I can actually get a decent little review here of it. So let's see how it goes over the sand hill. Okay, so yeah, it kind of gets stuck a little bit in there. Get a little bit of power. Okay, so it doesn't have a lot of traction in that. Oh, okay, landed on the seat, good deal. The paddles, it has paddles, but they're a little bit, can you see it down in there? Yeah. Let me zoom in a little bit on it. Yeah, so it doesn't do good in the deeper sand. The paddles don't have enough traction. I'm trying to turn it right now, it's not turning. I'm up against the water thing here. Yeah, it doesn't have control enough. Ah, that's my house she's. Cause this is pretty loose sand in here. So I've been digging in it, of course. Yeah, I can see it, it's just, it's just digging in. All right, oh, I'm falling. Ugh. Uh. All right, let me turn the camera around. All right, so it doesn't do great in loose sand. I want to see if it climbs up this here. Uh, let me see if I can adjust the camera. Whoop, going up, 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 up. All right, guys. So now I want to see if it can climb up this or not. So is it a good shot? Looks like it's a pretty good shot. Let's go up a little bit more. Oh, I'm doing something weird with my finger. Okay. Good. All right. The, what in the world? Oh, my finger was touching the other lens. All right, let's see if it'll climb up this. It's kind of hard to control this thing a little bit. It's definitely a, a cool kid's toy, but for adults wanting to play with it. Okay, it can't climb up it. You can see it right there. All right, that's what I was curious about. I want to see how, see how good it was. It is 
is cool though overall. I mean, it's, I mean, I like it. I think for adults that have had actual uh, like hobby grade RC cars and they play this thing, it's not nowhere, nowhere near the same. But for a kid that doesn't know any difference, I think they'll get a lot of enjoyment out of this. And I'll put it in the in the bucket real quick to see if it's how well it floats. So you see it moving her stuff around. It's got decent power to it. Uh oh. Oh, there it goes. Good. I didn't feel like going over and getting it. Oh, it tipped over. <laughs> It'll just tip over. If you go forward and back, it just tips over. Teddy. Yeah, it just tips over when you do that. All right, let's go, uh, don't tip over. All right, let's put it in this pond water over here. I think I can drive into it. Let me get the camera situated, see the pond water right there? Let me zoom, or, okay, just drive right into it. Let's see here. Let me lower the camera a little bit more. Let me go over to it. All right, so I'm gonna floor it into this stuff, see what happens. It says it can go in water, so let's hopefully it's waterproof. If not, it's been early enough that I could just return it to Walmart if it breaks. Because it says it's waterproof. Or it says it can go in water. Oh, totally not even work. <laughs> we gotta get the shovel, fix this stuff here. I don't wanna get all wet for the splash. Oh! Hey, there we go. All right, so it does, does float. So it's a boat. Hope I got that stopper on there good. I'm pretty sure I did the stopper before I did, after I charged it. Yeah, stopper's on there good. So it's got this plastic or rubber, rubber thing right there for the charging port. It's got some, oh, almost dropped the remote in there. It's got some pretty good, uh, pretty good pulling power in the water. So he's been wanting a boat. So this will work as a boat also. Get all the water out of it. Actually, it's clean now, so. All right, guys, this is a nice little review of it. <laughs> all right, so here's the directions. It says how to correct wheel alignment. So that's what, I guess these buttons down here. If one track's moving faster than the other track, you can slow it up through these little things right here. Um, I don't know, I've messed around with it. I pushed it about 10 times in one direction, 10 times in the other direction and I don't notice any difference. So anyways, I'm pretty happy with this cool little RC car, especially since you can drive on the water and it's kind of like a boat. I mean, it's gonna go super slow in the water, probably only go like two miles an hour on the water. But hey, he said he wants a boat. He watches YouTube and YouTube shorts and whatever. He sees these cool RC boats. He's like, I want a boat. So hey, this thing's a boat also. I don't know how long it'll last in the water, but it's pretty cool. Got some sand on it now. These things don't get a lot of traction. They're super flimsy. So, I mean, not flimsy, but they don't have a lot of, they're not strong. They're not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Stiff, they're not stiff. They're just whatever, it's just rubber. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.